The original reason they wanted to get the, the crawler uh, telescopic grain was for the, the line duck for that reason. But then it turned into more of a, it's just handy to have for the, the sights and everything else. And then we, as we went along, sometimes the big crane couldn't get to the blades to build the rotors. We had a couple, we had a few rotors we had to build because the base pit crew, rotor build crew couldn't do it. So we used, uh, and then 16,000 couldn't get to them because they because of where they were at. So we used it twice to uh, build, actually build the rotor. When we uh, go to trip this rotor, I'll be, I'll start out, it's usually between 75 and 80 feet to where I pick it at. We'll both pick it up, and then as he goes up with it, this blade is naturally going to want to tip down. I will just boom it down a little bit towards him. I'll boom it back up again and cable up, keep the blade out of the dirt, basically is the simplest way of putting it. Keep it off the ground so it doesn't hit nothing. And he'll come up alongside the tower, and then I'll just keep the blade right alongside of him. I'll just cable down with it, get it out of the way. I'll swing out of the way. And the cameras are handy, uh, real handy. I've never had cameras like that before. You can see both winches, really good. And the, behind you, if you're turning like around this blade or around anything, the pickup or whatever. And if you don't have anybody there, I always try to have somebody there to watch. But if you don't, and you know you're good enough, but you just want to keep going, the camera will show you everything you need to see. And the side camera, it's handy if you're coming up alongside something, for sure. If there's like a fence or a fence post or, you know, a rock or something like that out here. Okay, when we get done with this one, after it's all connected, um, the big crane will cut loose, and then he'll go underneath the blade, and we'll go to the next site, and I'll just tag along behind him. I can go faster than he can, but we need another escort for that. We usually just have one guy to escort us, maybe two guys sometimes. At certain times, we uh, you're not always going to be level, and uh, it's been on a list Almost every place I go, it's at least some list. I've never had any problem uh, with uh, being out of chart or wanting to tip or, or anything like that. It's always just stayed right there and done exactly what it's supposed to do. Pulse system is very easy to, to uh, navigate and to run, and it's very informative. I like how when it does have a system uh, malfunction, it, you can go into it and it'll tell you exactly what it is. I haven't had very many, but um, when it has had one, I'd get right in there and see what it is. I love it. I really like this crane. It's, it's different, like I said, from an RT that I've mostly ran, or all of them ran. That it's so versatile. Um, it's a little slower traveling from place to place, well, a lot slower than an RT. But once you get there, it's got so much more versatility to it where you don't have to set up in a perfect spot because it's got enough uh, of a load chart that you don't have to be exactly perfect all the time. And uh, if you need to, like I said, walk something into the crane, 